Hello, I'm Nicholas DiBiase with HepNova. Noah Dyer with WealthNet Partners. For Advisor Garage, we're here to talk to you today about branding and how it can influence your chances with potential investors. Branding is everything that influences the public's perception of us and our company. Branding is something that we all do every day, consciously or not. So the idea is to take the reins of it consciously, to mold it into something that is going to be coherent and attractive to potential investors. Absolutely. As an example of that, uh, very closely related to branding is positioning your business. Uh, recently in my own life, my brother is getting out of law school and he's going to be starting his own firm. Now, a lot of law firms talk about their ability to help you settle out of court or otherwise solve your case before you get to a courtroom. But what my brother is passionate about is being in the courtroom and persuading a judge or a jury that his client is on the right side of the law. By branding himself as a courtroom lawyer, that differentiates him from the other lawyers in the marketplace, makes it more likely that he'll pique the interest of an investor, and therefore more likely that he'll get the money that he needs to make it through his first year as a startup practice. Fantastic example of differentiation in branding. Let me give you a couple of other examples, one good, one bad. An example of great branding is what we see with Twitter. Everything about their copy, their graphics, and the way they present themselves online and in the media communicates simplicity and conversationalism. Those are their core values, and clear communication of core values is music to investors' ears. Now, an example of bad branding is what we see with Tropicana's recent fiasco, where they took away their long-standing brand image and replaced it with something that was fundamentally generic. They wiped out all their cultural capital and became poison in the marketplace. Okay, those are both great examples of what to do and not to do in your business branding strategy. Also related to raising, raising money from investors is your personal brand. And your personal brand is essentially composed of three pieces. The first is your apparel and how you groom yourself. The second is what you say and how you say it, your manner of speaking. And the third is your online presence. Online presence is a vital part of securing investor funding. Before going into a meeting with you, any investor that's considering your opportunity is going to do their homework and find out all they can about you and what you represent. Therefore, all your digital artifacts, such as blogs, MySpace pages, and the like, have got to be tuned to reflect the image that you want for your business. Absolutely. So what we're going to do here is a short little skit about what not to do with your apparel and your manner of speaking those pieces of your personal brand. Hi there, Noah. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, anxious to hear about your idea. Hey, bro. I'm happy to be here. How you living? Excuse me? How you living? It's a, uh, it's a phrase me type. Oh, I'm doing fine, thank you. All right. So, let me tell you what we got here. Uh, basically, uh, we heard that you C-level types, you executives, are having problems booking things like corporate jets. That apparently is a little bit of a hassle, a little bit of a slow up. It takes too long. So. What our business is going to do is solve that for you, make it real easy to book stuff online. And how is it you're going to achieve that? Well, um, the way that it works actually is, uh, do you mind if I smoke? Oh, uh, please don't smoke in here. Oh, well, sorry about that. Well, anyway, basically folks like yourself, you're going to just pop in, log in, there'll be a few buttons there for you to pull, and you know, once you click on those, and then you'll basically have booked yourself whatever you're looking for. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, thanks for stopping by. Uh, we'll be in touch. Yeah, bro, bro, anytime. Uh, no rush, just whenever you get to it. That's an example of incoherent personal branding, what we don't want to do in an investor meeting. To wrap up, branding is something that we're all engaged in. We want to engage it actively so that we can accurately represent our ideas and our values in an attractive, coherent way to investors. Again, I'm Nicholas DiBiase from HepNova. Noah Dyer from WealthNet Partners. For Advisor Garage. Thanks for tuning in with us today, and have a very successful week. We'll talk again soon.